Companies and academic institutions worldwide are racing to create a coronavirus vaccine. The numbers that we know are at least over 35 to 40. Um, and there's probably more than that because every day something else is popping up. Uh, a new indication of a new company, uh, either at the research stage or trying to repurpose other products and so on. So there's numerous uh, companies uh, pursuing this uh, solution. One of the companies looking for a solution is Boston-based biotech firm Moderna. They have started human trials. While they may already be ahead, other companies like Medicago say different approaches will give the world important options. We use plants to actually produce the vaccine. We introduce the protein. They introduce a sequence that will get to a protein. Um, so I think it's, it's interesting to have both approaches. This isn't really a race against companies. This is a race against a virus. So we need all of these options because we don't know which one is going to work the best. Renowned virus expert Dr. Ilaria Kapua led the field in fighting the avian influenza. She's been sharing her expertise on viruses with audiences around the world for years. She expects coronavirus vaccine prototypes may be available by the fall. We have a lot of expertise on developing vaccines of various types. And uh, we have pipelines of, of, of production that can be made operational in a short period of time. While biotech companies have different strategies for creating a vaccine, the end goal is the same. Any company that has a potential product or even as you're seeing some of the old products that have been around for years, seeing if they can be repurposed, uh, I think everyone is focused on trying to find an answer. The company to reach the finish line first will be the one able to demonstrate that their vaccine works and is safe. Best guesses right now, including our own, is about 12 to 18 before we'll be ready to introduce it to the general public. Dr. Kapua expects the virus to be around for some time and that people will have to adapt to dealing with it. I hope that with herd immunity or with a vaccine or with an attenuation of the virus, the, um, its impact will greatly decrease. While the world waits for science to do its job, experts agree the public can play their part by continuing to practice social distancing until a vaccine is created. Reporting for Newsy, I'm Vinnie Politan.